Hi, everyone. This is Christine Thompson, the lead agent on the CT team. I'm so excited to be back this month. Happy New Year, the beginning of 2023. And I'm going to help you start off the year right by knowing what's going on in the market. I know with December, everyone's probably thinking really slow, but let's take a look and really see what happened. I was pleasantly surprised, but I don't want to give too much away. Let's just jump in. I'm going to screen share so you can just see all of the wonderful fun data that shares with you month over month comparison. All righty. So let me get rid of that there. You don't want to see that. All right. And I'll just keep me here in the screen in case you want to know who the heck is talking. If I'm looking up, that's because I have multiple screens I'm working with. So I apologize. All right. So there's all my information. If you want to know how to get in touch with me. Whoops. Sorry, I moved your screen. <laughs> that's hilarious. OK, and now I got all the cords going crazy. All right. I won't touch anything, I promise. All right. <clears throat> If you need to get in touch with me, I got my personal cell phone number right here. You can text me. You can also email me and you can also go to my website or just find me on my uh, social media platforms. I got plenty of them going on. You can just DM me and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. So feel free to reach out um, <clears throat> after this. I'm a one man show here, so it's hard for me to check chats and questions while I'm live. Uh, so probably best for you to reach out afterwards, after I finish. And I promise you, I will get back to you. Ask any of my clients, they will, they'll say, yep, she does. <clears throat> All right, but back, back to the real deal here, what we're here for is let's find out what's been going on. This is what in November that I closed out and then I'm gonna have December closed out because we're so early in January. That's why it says November. So in November, I reported that there were 87 new listings only nine price changes, 81 properties that closed, so obviously contracts from the month prior or so, and 38 new list private listings. About 95% of those allow showings. That's what I heard from Emred, from one of the head guys at the MLS. He said about 95% of private listings are allowing showings. So for those of you that are new on the market as a buyer, really want to hook up with an agent so they can try and get you into private listings. Uh, there are going to be agents that are a lot more aggressive than others. I would highly recommend hook up with an aggressive agent <laughs> that will go that extra mile to get you into private listings and maybe, maybe even find some homes that aren't even in the private listing. Yes, it can be done. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right. So 987 new, 838 private. Let's see, what's 5% of that? That's about five off of that 30, let's just say 35 listings are taken showings, add that to the 87. We're talking about 120 homes out there if I'm doing my math, right? 110 and 73 under contract. So we got a good balance here, like a lot going under contract. That's in November. In December, 47 new, 39 private. So let's say about 35 plus that's about almost 85 listings and 49 under contract. So this is a good ratio still. We only had eight homes expire in December, which to me is actually really shocking. I would have thought it would be a lot more. Or eight canceled. This tiny little sliver in here, it's so small, it's not even worthy of a number. That's the how many price changes there were. I'm going to guess that people just said, take it off the market instead of changing the price and let's ride out the holiday and then put it back on in January with a new price, won't even show as a price change. That is a strategy sellers. And we had 68 closed. So wow, a lot of Christmas gifts going out to people. Those are big gifts, very exciting. So average sale price for detached homes, and here's the data, if you ever wanna backtrack onto this and go, what were, you know, what were the data points that she used to pull this? Uh, in Naperville, all of Naperville, not one particular zip code, because we got, uh, Four zip codes, 60540, 60563, 60564, and 60565. Yes, there is a fifth zip code, but that goes to PO boxes. Okay. Uh, there are, this is single family homes detached, and then I let the rest run. Okay. I didn't pick sizes or price ranges or how many bedrooms or baths. It's just all single family homes, not sharing a wall with another property. 
The average in November for sale price was 637, 753. So let's say 638. Okay. Oh, wait, I want to show you one thing here. Whoops, I got to go back to uh, presentation mode here. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Let me go back. I just want to show you that 637 price, 638 price, it's 10.5% higher than last November. So market is still higher, values of homes, values of homes are still higher than a, are higher than a year ago. So when you hear all that nasty media stuff talking about the market's down, I'm sorry, numbers don't lie, media does. Okay, so stop paying attention to all those news people and pay attention to real data. I did not doctor this, okay? This was November, year over year, up 10.5% home values, all single family homes on average in Naperville, okay? December, okay, even higher, 11.4% up from last December. I'm sorry, I don't see where home prices are going down. More specifically, I don't see where home value is going down. So for all of you buyers out there that are really nervous about, am I gonna be buying a home and the value is gonna go down? There are no indicators. And this is a slow month, you guys. December is supposedly a slow month, okay? So get ready for the spring market in January, February. I would not be shocked if I saw this increasing. So if I were a buyer, I would go out there and start looking now before you're not, not about, oh, let's wait for more inventory because guess what? When that more inventory comes out, there's gonna be more buyers out there and you are gonna be competing against buyers. We may be slipping back into maybe a little bit of that crazy market of multiple offers and it's a much better time to be negotiating with a seller now before more buyers get out there. You're not going to be overpaying for your house. You're not going to lose value on your house. So I highly recommend get out there now. Okay. Happy to tie up with a lender so you can find out what your lending ability is. Uh, this is for market time. How many days on the market does it take for a house to sell? In November, it was 31 days on average. Okay, so year over year, shorter time. Shorter time it took to sell a house than November of 2021. December, same number of days, 31 days. So even shorter than December of 2021, which means in this December, we closed out. Buyers were just out celebrating the holidays. They were touring homes and making offers. I guess they were gross. I guess they were Christmas shopping in a way, right? They were shopping for a house for themselves, right? I, I don't know. I, I had a lot of fun doing it for them. That was great. So fun. I wish I could wrap it, put a big bow on the roof. Anyways, okay. Average number of showings to contract. Uh, I apologize. I didn't have the number up last month or for November. But uh, it was up 11.5%, meaning it took more showings for a house to get under contract. So that is a reality. Okay, sellers, I know that it's still a seller's market, but it's not selling in a hot minute. All right. So it is taking more showings to get a buyer to make a contract, which means the buyers are getting a little bit pickier. Okay. And this closing out November, December was 29 showings. But now listen to this. Those 29 showings, is it happening in two weeks, 30 days, or two days? That's going to drive what kind of price you get. If you get 29 showings over the course of a weekend, you should be getting multiple offers. I'd be shocked if you didn't. <clears throat> if it took two weeks to get 29 showings, pretty good. You probably, maybe you'll get an offer. If it's 29 showings in the course of one, two, three months. Not good, not good at all. You need to be talking to your agent. If that agent isn't calling you, shame on your agent. 
you should be calling your client and be telling them, you know, this is taking too long. There's a disconnect here. We got to fix it. So that way we can get the right buyer in here that sees the value in your home and we'll make a good solid offer. Okay. This is showing the averages pulled from showing time. Uh, almost all brokerages use showing time. I should have put money stock into that business. Uh, to so they can track, and this is pretty accurate numbers, tracking how many showings per weekend average per home. And what's really, really interesting, and I think this is a, this is a, a clue to what to be expecting going forward, you guys, is look at December 16th through the 19th. We're like, like it's soon a quarter, a little over. That's higher than anything in November. I mean, earlier November, you know, Thanksgiving is around here. And close to Christmas, we outperformed in November. So I'm sorry. This is just another indicator of what to be expecting going forward. So sellers, before more people start hearing this news, get out there. Put your house on the market. Stop with the whole, oh, but they got to see the garden. Or we'll wait until after Super Bowl. No one's going out. <laughs> yeah, they are. And this is in December in a hot holiday time frame. So buyers are, they are, they're focused, man. They're focused. All right. So December, uh, on December 5th, I reported the uh, market action index needle was at 40. This is kind of like taking in a lot of factors and determining, all right, is it a buyer's market, seller's market, fair market? This is saying it's a slight seller's market. This was on December 5th. Today, it's saying slight seller's market. It only moved one point. I'm not worried about that. Uh, it's all that the other data that I showed you that is really telling. That's more specific. I, I like specific. All right. I don't have the graph from the last presentation uh, that I did early December, but I'm going to share this with you because you're probably wondering where are rates? Uh, we were... We were at like six and a half or six and three quarter earlier, or I'll say towards the end of last year. And now the current mortgage rate average is 6.59. It has settled down. It has settled down. And uh, we're probably at a pretty comfortable position right now. I, I have to say it over and over again. I probably said it in my last show, but I'm going to keep hammering this on you guys. The 30-year average for a rate was is 8%. Hmm. What's better? Hmm. 8% or just under 7? I think under 7 is way better. Way, way better. And maybe they even might settle down a little bit more. But I'm not going to tell people, yeah, the rates are going to keep going down. I think you as a buyer, be really happy with this. It's better than 8 and 8% is the average. What if the rates go up? Maybe it'll go to nine, right? And you're going like, gosh, I wish I was at eight. So be happy with this, all right? Stop thinking about the three and 4%. That is in the past, it is historical, and it's gonna stay history for a long, long time. Those were superficial, artificial rates, okay? They were artificial rates to try and pump up the market and everything. The market is solid now. Buyers are buying at this rate. Feds are not going to bring it back down to three and four. There is no reason that they need to. Okay. No reason for them to do it. So buyers get out there. Uh, when you are not competing with other buyers, you can negotiate with the seller to ask for a concession and may use that to buy your rate down. Maybe a half a point. That will make a big difference in the life of your loan. Uh, so rather trying to negotiate the price really low or lower, build in a credit and buy down your rate. And I'm sure you've probably heard the saying, date the rate, buy the home. All right, date the rate, buy the home. Date the rate obviously means you're not married to it and you can change it if you see it dipping down. Okay, so date the rate, go out and buy the home that you need. All right, stop putting your life on hold. Uh, today's median down payment, this is a good for you first time buyers. No, you don't need 20% to be buying a home. And 
you're much more likely to go under contract if you're only doing three and a half, five percent down, if you're not competing against other buyers. If you're competing against other buyers and they're coming in with an offer at 20% down, you're gonna have a really, you're gonna really struggle. So I highly re re uh, recommend get out there now when you can make an offer and not compete against another buyer. You can buy this house with three and a half, five percent down and date the rate. And as you build equity in your home, you could always refinance when the rate goes down and you have more equity in your home. Perfect solution. All right. So just get out there, find your starter home, build up your equity. Even if it isn't the perfect home, you're building equity versus renting. All right. Stop buying a home for somebody else because that's what you're doing when you're renting. I know a lot of you say, I don't want to spend money taking care of a home. It's so expensive. That's called investing, okay? Investing in a commodity where you're building equity. You're not building any equity when you rent. No, you're not spending a little bit here and there or setting aside for a roof. But are you really going to be setting money aside when you're renting? I highly doubt it. I don't think, and, and you got the built-in equity and just your mortgage payments, all right? And your principal, you're, you are building up equity. So money that you spend to fix up your house, is, it, it's so, so minute compared to renting, rent rates jacking up, paying more and more and more every month or every year, and all the moving fees and paying for that every time you have to move, all right? So I highly recommend you first-time buyers, if you can get any kind of a loan, go for it, okay? We got loans out there, VA loans. Um, we got uh, doctor loans with zero down. And there are plenty of programs out there for um, a good credit, lower income, where you can get a loan and buy a home. Highly, highly recommend it. Be, a, be an owner, don't be a renter, okay? Don't, don't get stuck in that divide, all right? I really wanna help all of you get on the ownership side. And I've helped a lot of first time owners and they are so thankful that they were able to do it. All right, so planning to sell your house, here's what you need to do. Get an expert on market trends, okay? Find a local professional that can set, help you set the right price. You don't wanna come out of the gate with the wrong price and end up sitting on the market and selling lower than you should have so, sold your house for. Find an agent that will maximize your pool of buyers. In other words, me. <laughs> All right, sorry, I gotta do a little plug. Um, but most importantly, I hope you found this this uh, show very useful. Again, here is all my contact information. So you know how to reach me. And of course, you can always go to my social media and find me there and, and uh, reach out to me through social media too. Appreciate y'all watching my, my monthly market show, market update. I typically do it on the first Tuesday of the month. If, uh, yes, first Tuesday of the month, sometimes things get a little bit of the way in my schedule, but that is that is what I'm committed to doing. And unless uh, life forces get in my way, I will be here every Tuesday, sometime during, you know, the, you know, noon, noon to two o'clock, so, sort of around their time. I try to do 12, 15, but sometimes, again, life gets in the way. So I appreciate you watching. You can see this on YouTube. Later, we'll upload this and save it. And you can reach out to me through YouTube. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naperville Living in Naperville, Christine Thompson. That's where you can find it. And I got a whole plethora of information on there from uh, real estate resources like contractors, uh, cleaners, stagers, attorneys, home inspectors, mold specialists. I got all uh, service series. Uh, out there for you to get educated on knowing how to jump into the market and know, know what to anticipate. I put that out and I try to put uh, driving tours in there. I got to get hopping on that one. I got a lot of driving tours in the, in the, in the funnel that's we're ready to shoot out. You know, we're going to dribble out through this year. So if you want to check out subdivisions in Naperville, I'll have all these driving tours so you can actually just better than the Google Street View. You can just drive through and get a feel for the neighborhood. And I'll be always offering information about that neighborhood as I'm driving through. All right, so enough there. I'm gonna have plenty more information coming out this year uh, for Naperville and uh, uh, DuPage County, Will County, you know, the greater Western suburbs of Chicago. Uh, 
And if you happen to be an agent out there watching and you work in the Western suburbs and you are frustrated with your business, not going well, and you are looking to join a team to get one-on-one -on -one coaching and great support and systems that you can do a stellar job helping all of your clients, give me a call. Be happy to chat. Thanks all for watching. I appreciate it. And you all have a fabulous day and happy 2023. Take care.